Welcome back, readers, to another episode of the Master of Blog videocast. Today's videocast involves the application Grand Perspective. Using this application, you can find out, find the large files on your computer. To start off, I'm at the Grand Perspective homepage, which is Grand Perspective without an e. .net. To download it, scroll down until you get to the download section. Then, press on the Download Grand Perspective (parentheses version 0.99). It'll open up a window, which will load. And once it has loaded, click on the green download button. This will go to another page. And you probably want to click on the .dmg format, which is the top one. Click on that, and it'll take you to another page. I don't really like SourceForge, where it'll begin your download. And see, you can see here that's downloading. And it will ask you if it's an app. If it, since it's an application, it'll ask you if you can download it um, as part of the Mac security. So which that see uh, it contains an application. Are you sure you want to continue downloading? You want to say yes. So continue or return. Now we can quit Safari, and we're in the gra Grand Perspective DMG uh, disk image. So you want to drag the icon to your Applications folder. Once it's there, you can eject it and delete the disk image. Now hit Command Space to open a Spotlight, or you can click on the icon up here. Icon and type in Grand Perspective. Grand Perspective. They'll give you the application. Hold down Command and press Enter. There we go. And it will ask you what folder it want you wanted to scan. I'll say my entire user folder, and it will say scan. It scans the hard drive, and these are the contents of my user folder. Not many. Um, it'll show you the sizes, the different sizes compared to other files, such as this one. Uh, this disk image uh, is larger than this file over here, and this file is larger than this file, and so on and so forth. You can zoom in. And you can see these over here, then zoom in again, I think. There we go. And these are different folders by color. It's really nice. You can tell, you know, what your big folders are by going up and seeing that, oh, this is a big folder. And you might want to consider deleting that folder. See, right there. Um, also... In the preferences, I suggest you explore the preferences of all applications. In these preferences, uh, you can choose the color, coffee bean, sliding table, moss militian, all of sunset, pastel, Papageno, warm fall, autumn, blue sky, tulips. You know, default color mapping is folder, which shows the different you know folders and such. You have extensions, depths, names, nothing, and top folder. Want to be folder? Want to say OK? And we'll go to more. And this one is currently in the coffee beans color. So we're going to change that to blue sky tulips. And you can have a color by folder. Nothing. But just one color. Name. Um, I'm not sure what that does. Extension. This is like disk images. These are disk images. And uh, all these are caches. All the red is cache. And... All of these are .dp caches, and these are movies. Um, it's really, really, really nice. You can change the focus, I think. No, it tells you where the focus is. It tells you what the select file is over here. And you can say reveal. And it'll show you where to select the file list. Makes it my trash. 
Um, so check it out. It's really nice. If you're looking to delete all those big folders or big files, this would be very nice. Um, read the website for more info.